This is probably going to shock a lot of people, but it's the truth. Money is not the key to achieving time and lifestyle freedom. And I'm going to prove it to you today by revealing to you the fast track to lifestyle and time freedom, freedom of time and choice, which is what many of us, many of us, if not all of us, that's what we want. We want the freedom to go where we want, do what we want, when we want, how we want. And I'm going to show you the fast track to achieving just that. So stick around. Hey everyone, Joshua Washington here and listen, we, I got to share something with you because I get excited every time I think about this. We are living in the golden age. We are living in what I believe is the golden age. And what do I mean by that? Why do I say that? There's never been a greater opportunity than what we have today. Because of all the, the how connected we are, because of all the advancements in technology, we have the greatest opportunity, a greater opportunity than what I think we've ever had in the history of, of mankind to own our own time, to uh, create the lifestyle, the, the freedom of time and choice that we desire. We've never had an opportunity like I believe we have today to l truly live out our life purpose. Some would probably argue that one, but, but still, it's a great opportunity. And then I think finally, we have this is the greatest opportunity to experience a rich life. You're living in it. You're living in the greatest opportunity to experience a rich life. And don't take my word for it. Some of the you know, people that are a lot smarter than me um, have also figured this out. There was a recent study done and they found what I thought was a very interesting prediction. They predicted that over the, the, the next few short years, here's what they're predicting, that the number of millionaires in our country will increase by upwards of 40%. The number of millionaires will increase by upwards of 40%. Now, I'm not like, I'm not the, the, uh, the, the numbers guru, but I can, I can, I have enough sense about numbers to know that 40% is a big number. That means there's a lot of people who are going to crack the code on this whole freedom thing. And I'm, if you're like me, you probably want to be one of those people. But if that's you and you're someone that wants to experience that type of freedom, and maybe it's not even, you don't have to be a millionaire to, to uh, experience time and lifestyle freedom. But you do have to understand what I'm about to show you. You must understand what I'm about to show you if you are going to achieve time and lifestyle freedom, freedom of time and choice. And uh, let's start with the problem. I think because this is going to provide some context for us, I think what holds people up when it comes to this whole freedom thing is that when I mention like lifestyle and time freedom, the first thing that comes to people's mind is money. Money. There are so many people who believe that if I'm going to own my time, if I'm going to live out my life purpose, if I'm going to live out my passions, if I'm going to be able to travel, if I want to be able to, to live a meaningful life, I need to have a lot of money. And I'm sorry, to, I'm sorry to break this to you. It's just, it's not truth. Money is important. Money is important. Don't get me wrong, but money is a tool. Money is a tool. It's, it's not, it's not the, the, the core importance. It's a byproduct of the core importance. And I'm going to show you what I mean because I don't want to sound too conceptual. But here's, here's, think of it this way. Money isn't the key to freedom because if you want to achieve freedom fast, you have to have another element. Money can get you to freedom, but money is not the key to achieving freedom fast. And here's an example. Maybe this will make more sense. Let's say you had two people, two people who they're both millionaires. They, they, they are both, let's say they've made $2 million, right? So they both have, have achieved the freedom that we all would love. 
You would think, right? Because they both, they're multimillionaires because they have $2 million. But let's say one of them, it took 60 years to get that $2 million. And let's say the other person, it took 60 days. Both have the freedom, but one had to sacrifice the more important, get this word, value, which is time. It's what we're all working towards, right? To get the freedom to spend time with our loved ones, to do what we want, when we want, go where we want, have what we want. One, both got to the $2 million mark, but one took 60 years. And some of you are on that track right now where you're, you're working and you're looking towards retirement for that time where you'll get to live. And actually, most millennials don't even think that way. We, we want to live right now. We want to live right now. And yes, so, so yes, money can help you reach freedom. But the point I'm making today is that if you want to reach freedom fast, if you want to be able to live out your purpose, live out your calling, be able to own your time, be able to, to go where you want, when you want, do what you want, how you want, have what you want, then you must understand what I'm about to show you. And that's the three levels of value. You must know the three levels of value if you are going to achieve freedom, if you're going to reach freedom fast. If you want to reach freedom fast, you must know the three levels of value. And here's why. If you really think about money, like money essentially is, it's not even something that's been in our society for, for very long when you really look at it. In fact, if you go back into time, there, there was a time, believe it or not, where money didn't exist. We actually exchanged based on um, the, like livestock. Because money is only important because we're exchanging value. I pay you a, a, certain number of a certain number of dollars so that you can give me back something that I actually value. But back in, you know, if we go back into history, if I wanted to, for instance, buy your land, I wouldn't be giving you a bunch of dollar bills. I'd give you a bunch of livestock. I'd, I'd give you, you know, maybe some land in return. And we still do that sometimes today. But my point is, Money, the sole purpose of money is value. So if the purpose of money is value, then don't you think it's very important for you to understand that foundational element, which is value? And so that's why I'm showing you the three levels of value, because when you understand the three levels of value, when you truly master and understand these three levels, you will not have enough space for the riches and wealth that you will accumulate. You won't have enough space for it if you can understand and master these three levels. So what are the three levels of a value? Uh, let's start with the first one. I'm going to go to the board here. The first level of value. And maybe some of you haven't seen this word before. You know, put in the chat if you have seen this word before. This level of value is called the ephemeral value. Now, that word means something that only lasts for a short time. So an example of ephemeral value would be, let's say, a good example is, let's say you're at a, a game, a football game, right? You're approaching halftime mark. You know you want to get to the, You're starting to get hungry. You want to get to that concession stand before the rush, right? So you go up to the, to the uh, concession stand. You beat the crowd. You get up there. You see a server. And you, you just want something like a hot dog. So you ask, how much does it cost for a hot dog? That server looks back at you right in your eyes and, she, and he or she says, that's going to be about $13. And your eyes get big you know, with $13. And if you're like me, you might ask, is that the BOGO deal? Like, do I get, is it buy one, get one? <laughs> is it buy one, get one free? But what happens? Because you are hungry. Or maybe you try to buy a soda that costs $8. And because you are thirsty, what are you going to do? You are going to dig in them pockets and you're going to pay. Why? Because 
they have caught you in a context where, <laughs> where they know there are people who are going to be looking for ephemeral value. People who are looking for something uh, short term, something that solves a temporary problem like thirst, like hunger, like uh, entertainment. That's what ephemeral value is. And we it, think about it. We, we've all done it. We've all paid the extra bucks for we could have waited. It is not going to kill any. It is not going to kill anyone to take a few hours off of eating in America, you know, specifically two to three hours after that game, you, you'd be fine. But what happens? We have we <laughs> we want that ephemeral value. We have a temporary uh, problem that we are we, we need to be able to solve it because we know we can because we have the money. So we're going to exchange that money for the value. You stand with me? Okay, that's, that's the first level of value, ephemeral. The second level of value that you need to know, right? Because if we're, gonna, if we're going to build a, a life of freedom, we got to know, we have to understand and master these levels of value. So the second level is essential value essential value. Now, if we were to think about what are some, I'm trying, I want to think of some professions that I believe provide essential value. We don't have to go very far, really, because we, we now have that term essential workers fresh in our mind from the pandemic, right? So think of, think of a brain surgeon, right? It ain't very many of them. So they provide an essential value. Think of um, a landscaper, while it may be uh, quite a bit of them, it's an essential, like, I have to have my grass cut. Either I'm going to cut it or somebody else has to cut it. It's essential. Otherwise, it's going to grow way too tall and things that are going to be crawling in there, I don't want to deal with, right? So that, that or, or landscapers provide essential value. Okay, uh, mechanics, let's get one more in there. Mechanics can provide essential value. I mean, I learned, I learned how to change my oil on YouTube, but I can't fix no car. <laughs> like, I, I can't do much beyond that. So I need someone who provides essential value. And what happens when we get there oftentimes? We pay up, even though we know, man, that the changing those brakes probably could cost a lot less if I did it myself. But I don't know how to do it myself. And it's essential. So what do I have to do? Got to pay up or go find someone that's maybe a little cheaper, but I still have to pay. Right. That's essential value. You must understand essential value is. And if you, you're probably already starting to put it together, you see this in every business, every service around you. This either ephemeral value or essential value or this third one that I'm going to show you. The third level of value is. And if you read the book, you know this already. Eternal value. Eternal value. So when you think about eternal value, think of it as value that goes beyond time. It extends beyond time. Think about value that meets a certain desire. And oftentimes that value extends beyond Time. I'll give you a good example. Something you may not have thought about. Have you ever thought of the fact that your cell phone, for many of you, creates eternal value? Yes, your cell phone, for many of you, creates eternal value. In fact, the cell phone was created as it was, it was supposed to be an something that was essential value because we need to be able to call people. But most people don't even use their phone for that anymore. Right? People use their phone now to fulfill their eternal, or their, let me put it this way, to fulfill, to fulfill desires that go beyond time. Like some of you will take your, you'll take your, your phone and you'll use it to take pictures of your loved ones. You use it to take pictures because you know that's going to last. 
When your loved ones are long gone and they left, they've left this earth, you'll still have that picture. You'll still have uh, that video. That's your phone creating eternal value. And that's what's so brilliant about what people, what they've done with these phones. That's why you will go to the store and you'll spend 800 to a thousand dollars on something. You could, you could very well go buy a, a flip razor without all the fancy screen and you'd be able to, you'd be just fine. You'd be able to communicate with people, but you'd miss out on what many consider that eternal value, eternal value. I'll give you, let me give you some, some other examples. It can be, it, it can be love. It can be joy. Anything that, that, that provides value in the form of love, joy, peace, Anything that provides or makes you feel more successful or another way to put that is uh, gives you a sense of status. Like all of this is connected to eternal value. Because these are things that we consider will, will be here long after we're gone. That's why, you know, if, if I can just get the picture or the filter just right, then my kids, kids, kids will think, man, <laughs> Great grandma was, was beautiful. So that's why we'll spend a little extra money on, on the better camera. It's not about the camera. It's about the eternal value. It's about the relationships we can get connected to. I, I hope you're getting this. These three levels, these three levels, if you can master how to take your God-given value and incorporate serving in one of these three levels, you will not have enough space for the riches and wealth that you will produce. This is the key, y'all. This is the key to the freedom that you've all been looking for, waiting for. And here's something else you probably haven't considered. What, what, do, what do all you know, three of these have in common? All, you know what all three of these have in common? One word. You, somebody has to create this value. It doesn't create itself. Somebody has to, to go out and do the thing that creates some sort of value, whether in the form of service, whether in the form of a product, whether in the form of, of, of speaking, communicating. Someone has to create that value. So what does this mean? This means that the most important value piece here is you. It's you. You are the most important piece to these three levels of value. Because without you, we can't create any of this value. And that's why your life is so important. That's why your life is here with reason. Your life was intended to operate in one of these three levels, if not all three of them. You are the common denominator in all of this. So I tell you that because for some of you, you've been so focused on money, chasing money, because you think that's going to get you freedom. When the truth is, the freedom that you desire is already on the inside of you. It's when you learn to take your God-given value and then maximize and monetize it. When you learn to take and discover and identify and grow the God-given value within you, then you can serve others. And you will serve others within one of these three levels of value. And that's what gets you to freedom. That's the key to freedom. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, isn't this the same guy that just created the Rich Millennials Money Guide? <laughs> yes. But the Rich Millennial Money Guide is, is supposed to help you grow your money. Why? So that you can spend your life living out your purpose, which is spending your life taking your value and growing it to the level where you can serve other people, where you can do that thing you've always wanted to do. You can go after that dream that you've always wanted to go after because you knew it would help people, but you haven't gone after it because this, this blockage of lack is stopping you because you think if you start going after that dream, you may not make it, you may not accomplish it, and you may not have enough money to sustain yourself. And so the fear, money, that's really what I, I only thing I really see it 
continuously produce in people is fear. But when you focus on value, riches are a byproduct of the God-given value within you. Wealth is a byproduct of the God-given value within you. And so that's what you should focus on. Focus on the value. Yes, use the rich millennials money guy to, to grow your money and to just to give yourself, create enough space for you to focus on this. That product was created so you can create enough space that you can focus on discovering your value, developing it, and then getting out there and serving other people with it, or other people with it, within one of these three levels. And I'm telling you, when you do this, when you master how to add value in those areas I just showed you, I'll show you again. When you master how to add value in these three areas, you will use money to buy back your time so you can live out your purpose. How does that sound? I would imagine it sounds really good. So this is the way to do it. I hope you found this to be valuable. I hope this is something that really um, encourages you because the value is already within you. You just have to, to extract that, that bad boy out so that you can get out and serve your purpose, all right? Don't forget in the meantime to make sure that you, where's my, where's my YouTube button here? Make sure you like, subscribe, share this, share this with someone else. If it brought value to you, then share it with a friend. Let them know uh, um, and, and keep this value circulating because we need more people who are out serving in one of these three levels. All right. Um, if, if nothing else, I want to remind you that success is your destiny. All right. And until next time, take care.